views or opinions expressed in this video are solely my own and do not necessarily reflect those of any other person or company. Hello again, good people. Today we are in Japan, the land of the rising sun. We are on the island of Kyushu and we shall be flying from Nagasaki, Romeo Juliet Foxtrot uniform, to Fukuoka, Romeo Juliet Foxtrot Foxtrot. And here is the bird that will take us there, the Kyushu J7W Shinden. This was developed as an interceptor during World War II. This freeware model was originally made by Tanzai for X-Plane 10 and has been updated by Crimini for X-Plane 11. F-Mod sounds have been provided by Dan Hopgood. The model has been constantly updated during the past year and is currently on version 1.1.1. This unusual canard piston powered J7W1 aircraft is provided with 14 fictional liveries documentation and a jet version of the J7W2. As you can see, when the aircraft is in the cold and dark state, a stepladder is provided so that you can get up to the cockpit, which is quite a way off the ground. The model hides its low polygon state quite well, except in some areas such as the wheels, which is a shame. The textures are also low resolution, but look okay if you don't get too close. Sounds are excellent, however. The throaty roar shows the power of the engine and for me pushes the aircraft into the must have bracket. Okay, I'll talk a little more about the Shinden when we are in flight, so let's get inside. The instrument panel is functional, I suppose, rather than pretty. Uh, much of it is very flat. I hope that cockpit textures is one of the things for future updates. You can see that the labelling is in Japanese, but x does a good job of providing a translation if you hover your mouse over the instrument. The documentation also has diagrams labelling everything in English. Down on the right is the electrics panel, radio, simple autopilot and transponder. To help those watching this video, when I use the electrics panel, I'll put my own little diagram here, so you can see which buttons I'm pressing. OK, I'm going to use the startup sequence provided in the documentation. First, uh, check the parking brake on, which it is. Fuel selector to right tank. Gun sight should be off. Battery on, generator on, fuel pump on, the prop should be fully forward, okay, mixture to rich, which it is, and set throttle to around 10%. And now just the ignition. Idle speed should be around 1000 RPM and uh, we check all instruments are within limits. Okay, uh, fuel pump off, avionics on, uh, transponder on. Okay, while we're here, we'll listen to the ATIS for the for this field, uh, which is one two six decimal eight five. Maybe more information like 
700 Zulu weather. Wind calm, visibility board antenna. Spec conditions 20,000 scattered, 35,000 scattered. Temperature 14, dew point minus 14. Altimeter 299. Arriving runway 36. Departing runway 36. Advise on initial contact with the flight. Okay, that's 80 mic, and now we'll change the tower, which is 118.5. decimal five. Okay, uh, Pito on uh, taxi lights and nav lights. Nagasaki Tower, Shinden Experimental with information mic, request taxi to active. Shinden Experimental, taxi to and hold short of 14. Taxi to and hold short of runway 14, Shinden Experimental. Shinden doesn't have nose wheel steering, so you have to steer with the, with the differential braking, so it can get a little bit twitchy. Holding short 1-4, Shinden Experimental. Shinden Experimental, you are cleared for takeoff on 1-4. Cleared for takeoff runway 1-4, Shinden Experimental.
We will now turn to the north and climb to around 4,000 feet. Shinden is a unique interceptor with a canard layout conceived by Lieutenant Commander Masayoshi Suryunu. I probably mangled that quite badly, and constructed by the Kyushu Aircraft Company in Fukuoka, Japan. Prototype construction began in June 1944. Two prototypes were completed with a total of three test flights, and then America dropped its atomic bombs and the war ended. It was designed to intercept B-29 bombers coming in from bases in China and required fast climb rate, so it was fitted with a powerful 2,130 horsepower Mitsubishi Mark 9D radial engine. It was to be armed with four 30mm cannons with 60 rounds per gun. aircraft without testing the weapons, of course, so while we're over the water, let's arm the weapons and it sh and I should be able to fire the cannons. The bullet casings are not ejected in case they hit the prop, they're kept inside. Okay, let's have some specs. Uh, the Shinden has a wingspan of 11.1 meters or 36 feet and is 9.7 meters long or 32 feet. The rotation speed is uh, 115 knots as is the landing speed. Never exceed speed is 450 and will cruise quite happily at around 400. It had a service ceiling of 12,000 meters or 39,000 feet and it can reach 8,000 meters or 26,000 feet in 11 minutes. The prototype Shinden was developed by the Japanese Imperial Navy and it only flew three times, all based at the airfield now occupied by Fukuoka Airport. A jet-powered version was planned but never got off the drawing board. This package is provided with the jet J7W2, so you can try it out for yourself if you wish. So, only two aircraft were made. One was scrapped after the war and one was dismantled and shipped to the States. The forward fuselage is currently displayed in the National Air and Space Museum in Washington, D.C. drop the external fuel tanks. And they just disappear, that's uh, disappointing. I was expecting some nice animation.
Fukuoka Tower. over the city of Fukuoka. Mike, QNH1013, Clitterland Runway 16, Shinden Experimental. flaps and uh, the landing speed is just over a hundred knots
Okay, here we are. No B-29s encountered today. The flight today has been an exercise in what might have been and what will be. Almost everything about the Shindin here has been about blue sky thinking. Of course, the aircraft existed, but it had no armament. It had uh, just the factory livery, and only a limited amount of testing had been carried out. Along with other Japanese aircraft projects, it had the potential to turn the tide for Japan, but of course, we will never know. At best, the model of the Shinden here is an excellent means of learning to fly a canard aircraft. Although it's a little tricky to land, once you have the correct joystick settings and are prepared for the terrific torque that the engine produces, then it does fly beautifully. You can find the Shinden at xplane.org and I'll leave a link in the show notes. I hope you've enjoyed the flight today and so, with that, I will see you soon. Bye bye.